Right, um, I'm just going to mess around tonight. I'm just going to be playing around, just messing about. I actually have a big book here called, what's it called? Art, the Definitive Visual Guide. And somebody was asking me some questions uh, the other day, and I made a couple of videos about it, and it was just like, do artists really affect the prompts that much? And the answer to that is yes and no, because um, uh, sometimes, depending on how the um, depending on how the model's been trained, really, um, depends on whether it knows an artist or not. Um, there is a lot of surprises. Um, so what I'm just I'm just messing around tonight, really. I'm pretty chilled. Just going to take it easy and mess around. So you're welcome to join me. Um, I basically I'm just going to open my book randomly and uh, get some of the artists out of there. And it gives me like so like I've opened it now on Italian Renaissance, and I've got like loads of different artworks in there. Um, I've got time periods. I've got the artists and I've got like the methods that they use. So I'm just going to mess around with them and I'm going to just have some fun really and see if I can mix and match stuff. However, saying that, um, if you uh, want to ask some questions, uh, fire away. Um, just put something in the chat there. Right. So, um, I am just going to make sure that everything's in place. Right. Uh, we don't really want to see that, do we? So, do -do 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 -do. right, cool. Um, I just need to get the link. <laughs> right, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. It just it drops the link into um, my Discord. I'm just going to drop it in Night Cafe for anybody that wants to come and see. Right, so, it's <laughs> an interesting uh, image. Right, so let's have a look. So again, as I said, I'm just going to mess about. Um, I need to get rid of that. Uh. I'm rubbish at starting these things. Oh, come on, mate. Right. Right, so, um, night cafe. La, 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 la. Right, so I've opened it. Dutch Baroque, 17th and 18th century. Let's see. I've, I don't even know what, I, I wouldn't even know what a famous artist is. But that's a wicked picture, that is. So I've found a guy called Jacob van Roosdael, Amsterdam, 1682, 17th and 18th, right, Baroque. Let's see if I can, let's see what, well, first of all, let's see if it knows who he is. So a way to find out is to see if it knows what the, um, the, Im the image is. So what's this image called? The Jewish Cemetery. So, uh been doing a wee bit of testing and I watched a video for some guy the other day as well um, and it's kind of like the best way to prompt it's kind of what I do anyway but um, strength at the beginning so um, whatever's at the beginning of the prompt will be treated the strongest but there also seems to be like um, uh, 
and good order to do stuff and it seems to be let me just see if I can find it oh I've lost it now I don't know what I've done with it but it's it's basically artist main subject then your modifiers so in this instance I want to see if it creates his, his image because his image is a beauty um, the Jewish cemetery there and let's have a look so it's it's a landscape darkly emotional and it's a painting so I'm going to use darkly emotional painting on canvas now this is me just using the word straight out of the book um, but I find this interesting because every now and then you come across an artist that works like it's just mental, you know, just perfect. So we'll give this a go and see what happens. I'll put the prompt strength up quite a bit and let's go. Let's see what's happening. I'll be making some Halloween stuff of late, um, as I'm sure you can see. Some of them pretty spooky. Good fun though. And I started, I've been, I'm, I'm on a wee mission at the minute, testing artists. So I think I made a collection yesterday. Oh, it must be on my other um, account. Right, so let's have a look and see if this is anywhere near the original. See what we've got. Right, let me have a look at the original. Uh, kind of. Um... Cemetery, cemetery. Um, Jacob van Ruisdael, or however you God. I hope there's no uh, Dutch folk watching. Right, um, that one. That's the one I've got in the book. I thought that was pretty wicked myself. But how did we get on? How did we get on? Hmm. It's kind of, it's latched onto the cemetery, isn't it? I guess it's, but that to me, that will probably indicate that it doesn't know who that artist is. That's what I would say. But let's have, let's have a wee bit of experimentation. So Dream Studio. So this is um, Stable Diffusion. I'm going to take the clip guidance off at the moment. Um, just so we can, and I'll date with the clip guidance again in a minute. I'll pop it into Dali as well, and uh, where is we might as well use um, what do you call it? Mid journey as well. I just want to see. See the reason I'm doing this. Is I want to find some um, good artists that are, uh, that seem a bit unique, and then when I've got them, uh, I am um, um, I'm hoping that I can mix a couple and get a decent result. So that's interesting. So Dali has. Um, it seems to got seems to have got the vibe. Is the vibe, the vibes? Yeah, it's kind of there as well. Dali seems to have. Um, it's not bad. And right, you can see, you know, that's very similar to that. That's because that is that. But I'm going to stick the clip guidance on now and redream it, and see what we get. I'm going to uh, regenerate that in Dali. How many credits have I got left? 61. Um, right. So again, we could adapt the prompt really, but I th ah, Dali's coming up with some nice results. Again, it's not quite the same as the original, but hey, it's not bad. Dream Studio with clip guidance on is nice. 
and we could so yeah the results are ugh, they're no bad are they um, but let's pick one of these and see if we can use the original again it might actually be you know um it doesn't really it doesn't um it doesn't really I'm not convinced that it's actually picking up the artist. So there's his full name. Let's, uh, I'm going to evolve him. Yeah, why not? Did I get his full name anyway? What is that? Is that a place? No, it's him. So it's just weird, right? So we'll cut that. No, no, I'm just going to put it in because I don't know how it goes. And I'm going to use this, I'm going to change the prompt a wee bit. And I'm going to take a lot of the noise out. I might bring that down to there. I'm going to change this to one of the ancestrals. And, yeah, let's just go for it. But I've got a sneak suspicion it maybe... I don't know, maybe it does know. It's, it's difficult to say, really. Because... Um, Right, so they're all looking pretty much the same, which kind of says to me that all it's basically doing is a Jewish cemetery, darkly emotional painting on canvas. We can test it, of course. Um, let's see what this does. And... Just see if it makes any difference. That's it's the same isn't it? Right, so um duplicate and remove his name. I just want to see but I'm kinda convinced now that it's it'll come up with basically the same. I could be wrong, it might be picking up you know, it might it's hard to say really. But we'll see now. Uh, Dream Studio, take his name away, I'm just going to day one, oh, I'll do a couple, I'll take clip guidance off, and there's no point in doing any more in Dali, Dali's pretty close, I would like, like that looks, but it's no, at least there's a tree there, but again, I don't think it really knows his name to be fair, that's pretty much the same isn't it, so uh, I don't know. I don't think it knows him. Let's try a modern artist. Because that was, what was that? 17th century. Right. What have we got here? Pop art. I've never really done much pop art stuff. So, let's go... Um, home. Let's go for stable diffusion. Uh, landscape. No, not landscape this time. Let's do a face. So here's one here. Anxious Girl by... Who's that by? Roy Lichtenstein. Let's try that. So we'll go... Um... Anxious girl, and some let's. I'll just do this like that, and um, no, no, I'll get rid of that. Um, I don't think it's going to have his, but I'll, I'll pop an artist in anyway because I want to see how it writes the prompt. I reckon it does. What's that? Right, I don't know what that is. I haven't used it yet. It's changed quite a lot since the last time I've seen this. So art medium is pop art. Oh, how am I going to, where, where's, where's, where's that going to be? Oh, look at that. I need to remember that. That could be interesting for Halloween stuff. So it's probably a paint. Tibetan painting. Hmm. 
Ach, I'm just going to write it. We'll be here all day. So, um, Roy Lichtenstein, uh, anxious girl. Uh, let's have a look. Um, close up. Bugger. Close up. Comic image. Bendy dots. See, never heard of that before. I recognise the art like, but... Bendy dots and black outlined forms. Black outlined forms. Um, anxious girl is a all-American blue-eyed blonde. Um, so anxious girl, all-American blue. So let's see if it picks up just him. Well, we'll see if it picks up his art or what. I'll just leave that at that. Go for that. Where else did we go? There, see, I, that's see when you use these high styles, you get that. It's in everything. That, see that weird cloud? It's everywhere. It's really annoying, to be fair. Um, I'll just, I'll, um, where's my new prompt? Oh, it's no bad. So, anxious girl. At all. Roy Look at that. What what's that all about? Is that Google oh no I'm off my head into Anxious Girl Roy Lichtenstein did I spell that right? There it is. So what's the one that's in the book? That one. So that, so that's what was in the book. So if I come back here, uh, it's not bad. So to me, to me, that would say um, that it knows the artist. However, I'm a wee bit untrusting. <laughs> so I'm just going to do this and see if it knows the artist or if it knows the... Um, the what do you call it? The bendy dots, because that's clearly part of the art. But they're quite cool. Well, I think they're quite cool anyway. Check the mad blue eyes. Kinda took that literally there. What one do I like? They are a bit weird. To That one's quite nice. So it does know the artist. Excellent. So what I tend to do, look, it's on my other one, so I'll create a new collection and I'll call it um, Artists That Work Creative. And I will accept this fella into that. Where is it? Cool. Some of them are interesting as well. Right. Let's see what else I can find. Oh, aye, there's a famous Marilyn Monroe one that looks pretty much like that. Was that the same guy? Oh no, that was Warhol. Let's see if there's anything interesting. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's mad. What was that? Right. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself. 
Um, the Dream Studio, come on. Yeah, see, see, maybe Dream Studio did know the artist. Oh, I should have done more images. And what's Dali going to do? And mid journey. Right. <laughs> spot on, isn't it? That is pretty spot on. So I would expect Dream Studio to have it. Yep, and pop some clip guidance on there. Get some more images. Come on. I don't know how much credit I've got. Oh, I need to wait till it's finished. So they all seem to be aware of that for sure. How much? Um... Okay, lovely. Oh. So they all seem to be aware of that. Ah. Except mid journey. Although, wait a minute. Mid journey's a pain with these settings, man. So I bet you. I'd almost like bet my life that it knows it now. Right. It's better, but it's it's not picking up these. It's well, what is it? Fifty percent. It might it might pop them in in a minute. We'll have a wee look back in a minute. Right. So this piece of art looks very interesting to me. Um, it's a portrait. It's called Portrait of Ambrose Vollard, eighteen sixty eight to nineteen thirty nine. Oh, it's a, it's a Picasso. I didn't even know he'd done stuff like that. Right, so... Pablo Picasso. Uh, portrait of Ambrose Bullard. Now, the thing that interests me about this picture is it's it's very weird. It says here in this portrait of his dealer, Picasso demonstrates an extraordinary virtuosity by producing an image of a curved and bald head entirely out of jutting angles. Nineteen oh nine oil on canvas. Right, so oil on canvas. Now, I love doing this. You know, I'm just, uh, that's it. I just want to see if it can create it. And then if it does, I know it, I know it knows Picasso, so. Um, I know it knows Picasso, so we'll, and I'll show you the picture, that there. Now, I think that's pretty cool. So hopefully, Let's see what it does. That's not the same, is it? So, it's done it in a Picasso type thing, but it doesn't know what that picture is, I reckon. Right, but I like that. How can we... Um, 
jutting angles. I wonder if that will make a difference. Uh, um, what's it like? It's like glass shards, isn't it? I'm going to change the seed. Maybe try... <laughs> Uh, uh, I guess it's getting there. The thing about um, uh, Mid Journey is um, the remix. Has it got the thing here? There it is. This is amazing, this this new bit. So you can... Um, uh, it's just like Evolving Night Cafe, really. Um don't really want to do that. I'll just I'll wait until it's done. It's done that. Did that make any difference? Oh no, it didn't. I'm not happy. It's it's crap how it's putting it in the in the frames as well. Although I do love this stuff. I wonder if I can evolve this. Portrait. That's. Um, I'm going to change that to um, facial portrait because the word portrait is what's putting all the all the thingy my bobs or the the um. <laughs> I've completely forgot what it is. Uh, the what is it you call it? The frames. Ah, oh, I'm losing my mind. Um, okay, so let's see what happens this time. I do love, like, the Picasso stuff it does. I think that's actually... Is that him? I wonder... I wonder if we go duplicate and go... Art by... And it might... something else I've noticed as well before so it, this book tells me where it is so it's in the Pushkin Museum in Moscow what do you reckon? well you never know do you? you never know nah no, I'm not going to be able to do it that way. I could probably... See, it has got the jutting angles and stuff, but it's, it's picking up Picasso's classic colours and facial shapes and stuff, so... And there's nothing in here that's really close to it that I could use. Not really. Maybe it just doesn't know what the image is. Has it found it? It's been awfully slow. What's going on here? No feeling it. Uh, let's try that. See what happens in Dali. I'll try Dream Studio as well. Why not? Dream. What's going on here? Oh, was that nearly finished? Oh, mate. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. They are interesting. I wonder... Right, let's pick a decent one and just mess around with it. I'm going to 
pick one of these and I'm going to mess around with it somewhat. Right. I'm going I'm going like off the path now. Uh oh come on mate. Come on. Right, let's just choose one. That one'll do. Uh Of course, that's diffuse, stable diffusion, you know. Did this one find it? Nah. Classic Picasso's, but it's cl it clearly doesn't know the image itself. Which, I suppose, is fair enough. Right. Evolve. I'm going to mess around with this now. Um, uh, I'm going to put the man, seen as it's coming up for Halloween, now that is going to make that change some enough. Um, I'm also going to put just pop that in at the end there. I'm going to yeah, let's go mental. Let's see what we can get. I'm going to pop that up and all. Let's see what we can come up with. Where is my Discord? Copy, 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 link, that's what I'm looking for. La, 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 la. Sorry, I'm distracted. Right, what we got? Disappointing. Where, where's Geiger? Okay. This is intriguing. Because normally when I put Geiger with someone, with something, it goes ballistic. It, 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 like, you, the Geiger influence is clear. Let's have a look. Uh, Sorry about that if you're I hope that's no triggering anybody. See, I've got it the other way around here. Mm, I'm trying not to do that anymore. Right, let's go duplicate. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think is Picasso too strong? Try again. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you want, like, Picasso's, you know, um, well, Picasso, I guess. But, right, okay. It's a shame because I like that picture. I like the effect. There must be a way of doing it. What is op art and kinetic art? That sounds interesting. Let's see, if we can do act. I can't believe Geiger's not making any difference. Right. Okay. So I'm going. I like the look of this stuff. 
Op Art and Kinetic Art from 54 onwards. It's a bit weird. Oh, they're, um, what do you call them? It's like situation, like a room or a light display or and constructions. Strange. They look good though. Um, I want to try, let's use, let's get a prompt from in here. Oh, what was that thing I was looking at? I'll show you. I'll show you a couple of mad pages that I found today, or yesterday, or whenever. This one, maybe. Right. This is well handy. This page. Um, some of the art's absolutely mental, but what I like pages like this for is aesthetic. See that aesthetic? I love that. So, what has it got? What's Prompt Studio? Right, let's take that. And now I'm into my Buddhism, so I'm going to go uh, the Buddha. I'm going to have to break that prompt down first, though. Um, so that's the end. Right, I'm just going to do it like that first because I want to see what results I'm getting for that. Uh, prompt weight, 100%. Nah, it's going to overcook. Oh, just leave it at 50 and I'll leave it on LMS this time. I just want to see what the results are and then hopefully I'll be able to maybe change it. with some of my other artists and see what we can get. Right, so let's have a look. The skills, that's, that's, that's superb. Uh, who was it that done it? So I'll tell you the name of the artist. Well, that's a bit dim, no? Well, I'll have to say, mate, I'll come, oh, uh, I do have an account, I think. Anyway, right, let's see what we got. What is going on? Why is everyone so slow? That's a belt. Ah, oh, there's some crackers in here. That's a beauty. I'm not happy. What is going on? Look at that. It's mad when it does that. That's a cracker. So is that. So is that. So is that. So is that. That's a good one as well. Right. Okay. Duplicate. Um, uh, that's not what I meant today. Idiot. Evolve. Wow. Um, H. R. Geiger. I probably shouldn't have used horror stuff with Buddhist stuff. It will not be good for my karma. And what else can we... Uh, I reckon we can take that away. And I reckon we could probably take that away. It's the geometry I like. 
and I've done loads of stuff with rainbow colours so it's right up my street this uh, I'll leave it at 50-50 to start with see what happens What did we get? Let's see, what did we get? Oh, wow. Okay, right, so I'm going to evolve it again. Oh, I've got to pick one to evolve. That's like Mayan stuff. I like that one. Right, so evolve and this time I'm going to remove that. Uh, I'm going to pop Unreal Engine in there just to see if I can get it more realistic. change that and this time I'm going to up that maybe not that much I'm going to try one of the ancestrals again just to see see what we get but these are interesting results now I'm hoping Unreal Engine is going to make this kind of 3D-ish Let's have a look. Go on then, mate. It certainly didn't do that, that's for sure. Oh, interesting. It has made it 3D. So I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm interested to see what happens if I change that to... Um, look, it's in here somewhere. Pencil something. Pencil sketch. Da -da -da -da. I'm hoping it'll, that'll allow it to get a wee bit more moody. Uh, and I'm going to take the colourful away. Mm, and... Um, ink. Pencil and ink work well together sometimes. See what happens. But there's some pretty interesting results in there. That's a bit do lally, that's quite a good one. But I'm hoping it will get a bit more A. Eh? Where did it get the colour for? Did I miss something? Ah, okay, so it's just remembered the colour for the previous one. So what about if I go back here? Well, there's nothing. Change this into pencil sketch. Change that to ink. Don't want that. Right, 
right, see where we go. Uh, oh, try again. Oh, right, what's causing that? Let's try this. few problems of late. Mm. Right, try that. We're away. I'm hoping... Oh, did I forget to put Unreal Engine in? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm hoping that the pencil and the ink combination, uh, you sometimes get some, ah, uh, see, a bit more moody now. Right, uh, look at that, that's wicked. They're good. Let's see what Dali does, and I'll have a look at um, uh, Journey. Let's see what it does, and I might as well do Dream Studio as well with Clip Guide and so on. Um, how many steps is that? 50 that I, that'll do. Right, let's see what we get. Right. Howdy, whoever's watching. If you've got any questions, just ask. Look at that, that's wicked. So, to me, they are, you know, they seem more they're atmospheric, moody. These are, these are, these are cool. Don't get me wrong, but they're 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 more kind of Mayan to me than anything else. Um, but what we can do is I discovered I was doing I was doing something the other day and I don't really know that much about colours and stuff. Um and there's a there's a colour one in here somewhere. Now what one was it I used? Complementary colours. Seemingly it chooses colours and they're they're complementary to each other and then it it just kinda it adds them just a wee bit, which I, I think um, it would be nice if it just adds like some moody blues and purples or something, but you know, I know f all about art. Um, I didn't know anything at all until I started this stuff back in February, and then I just bought loads of books and loads of websites and just went a bit weird. <laughs> uh, has it brought in any of the colour? No, nah, but I'm loving these images, so I'm going to try again. And I'm going to cut that away for there. Oh, and I'm going to pop it there. Let's see if that changes anything, and I'll change the. See what adds any colour, but these are wicked. Wow, they are so cool. I would get them. Um, I probably would get them printed. I love that kind of stuff. So, and it's geometric as well. That's a cracker. That's a cracker. That's very interesting. Right, let's see, did we get any colour? Oh, too much colour. Some of them are alright, I suppose, but, you know, I only wanted... I just wanted subtle colour in. Um, let's go back to this one. Duplicate. Or is it the other one? Look! What is going on? So, 
in that other one, where did I put it again? There. I'm going to put it there this time. See if it makes any difference. Got quite a nice result from... Um, that's pretty cool, that is. I'm going to rerun it. And I'm going to rerun it again, but I'm going to change the settings to photo... I think, yeah, that's all right. It should run like that. Uh, oh, come here. Did I run it in the rest of them? I did. Nice. Some really awesome images there, man. It's funny how it just stuck that random bit right there. What did Dali come up with? Dali's mental. Like, I've, I, I thought there was something wrong with it when I first started using this, like six months ago or whatever. Whenever you put pencil sketch in, it comes up with this dodginess. You know, they would be wicked if they were more defined. Like, if I remove pencil sketch. See, it's going to show me up now, isn't it? Um, but in the past... Ah, it's still garbage, isn't it? I wonder why it's doing that. Yeah, that's... Got, they're, they're wonderful pictures as well. That's a cracker. So is that, but... Nah. Nonsense. Right, this might be a wee bit more subtle. Not really, is it? They're nice images again, but... Right, I'm going to try something else. Um, slight colour scheme purples. And what colour goes with purple? Green? No idea. Let's see what happens. Well, I'm going to knock this on the head shortly. Nobody's, nobody's come in to watch me tonight, so no questions asked. And I don't really... I've not got a heed on me to focus on stuff. I'm just fucking around, really. Now we're talking... I've got subtle colour and again that's a beauty. That there, that's a cracker. They're not quite as subtle as I would have liked. Let's try right, uh watch everything get mental now and I might bring that down a wee bit. Do that. See what happens. But I've got loads of images that work with, but they're all to be fair, I'm kind of sick of portraits, really. Um, I prefer things that have got a wee bit more adventure in them. Like, some of these are crazy. There's a cat jumping on my roof. Right, look at that. <laughs> Mental. Some of these were good as well, I think. Yeah, some of them are belters. But again, I'm, I, f I, f I don't focus very well on one subject, so like, I need people to ask me questions and stuff. If nobody asks me a question, then I just get lost in space. Yeah. So as you can see what's happened there, because I put it into widescreen, it's cutting the top off. There's a couple of maybes, but you know that's 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 a waste really. So if I put it into portrait, bump that back up, change that, leave that. But this time, 
I'm going to change the run time and I'm going to put it to low res and see if we can get some really nice um, results and then I'm calling it a day. Interesting. Done, done, done. Impressive, done. bad results. Interesting. Yeah, they look alright when I've enhanced them. But yeah, anyway, that's me done for the day. That's my favourite one. Um, I hope you found something useful in this. If not, sorry about that, but I'm just shooting the shit, basically. So, thanks very much for watching. Hope you learned something. If not, just ask me some questions if you've got anything, because I'm useless at doing it otherwise. Okay, peace. Take it easy.